So I'm making this video to show how to uh, properly update WinCNC controller to uh, a newer version of the software. Um, and this is just for how to update the software if you're already on the same uh, major version. Um, so in the case of if you're on version 2 and you want to want to upgrade to the latest version 2 or if you're on version 3 and you want to update to the latest version 3. Um, so I'm going to open up WinCNC real quick. Okay, and I'm just running on demo mode for this uh, demonstration, so I'm going to click OK. And under the help menu, I'm going to look and see what version I have. And it's 3.0.15D, okay? So that's the version we had, or have right now, and I'm going to go on their website real quick, and I'm going to download the, the update. So there's wincnc.net. Internet's running kind of slow today. Okay, then we go to Resources, Downloads. And I'm going to go to CNC Windows, and I'm going to go down to 3.0.XX and click that. And that, and then I'm going to go to Release Versions. Uh, and so the latest is 3.0.1.6. So I'm going to download this .exe file. Now some some programs you might have to bypass some security because. Uh, this is what you call a self-extracting exe file. Um, it's a zipped, a compressed folder structure. It's got a lot of files and, and folders inside it. Okay, so there's the file. Now what I'm going to do is double click on that and it gives me a little security warning but I know this file is safe and I'm going to hit run. Now, this is the important part. Uh, it uh, wants to know where to put the files. Now, first of all, you need to have already backed up your entire WinCNC folder just in case. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a, in a separate little video. Um, but I've already done that, and so what I'm going to do is just type in C colon, well, rather than type it, I'm going to hit the double dots here and I'm going to go to computer C drive and I'm going to go to the WinCNC folder right here and click OK. Okay, so extract to C colon backslash WinCNC extract. Now it'll tell us, you'll know you've done it right if it tells you, you know, that there's a file that's already there. So would you like to replace the file? with this one and we're gonna say yes to all okay now those files have been copied over so we are almost done but what we have to do now is uh, excuse me I, I didn't mean to open that we we go to the WinCNC folder in the Windows Explorer and there's a file in there called driver installer .exe and what we do is we right click that run as administrator or just open depending on what security privileges you have on on the machine that you're using and would you like to install this device software yes so I click install and it does some things here in the background installing the drivers that allow the hardware to to work and do its thing one more driver to install Close Windows Explorer there. All right, so now <clears throat> the uh, newest version should be installed. So I'm going to start up the software, click 
Okay, in this case. Now I want to look help about, and we see we've successfully updated the software to version 3.0.16. Hope this video helps.